So, the real nature of climate change, difference between a two-degree world and a four-degree world. Two degrees doesn't sound like much, does it? You have joined us at a unique and powerful moment in history for the kingdom. We know that the people of the world are looking towards the future and asking some very important questions. How will the hugely growing demand for energy be met in the future? What are we doing about climate change? These are tough questions with a lack of easy answers. That's the difference, according to a colleague of mine, Professor John Schellen, human civilization. John, you're outside enjoying the sunshine. It's not too hot, is it? The irony, of course, is that this is the government that has just led the world by committing to a zero carbon economy. Second quarter profit blows away all prior records. The, the actual facts are that extreme weather is not increasing. This is calm. Don't be afraid. Don't be treasure. scared. You're just a, you know, you're a load of incompetent middle class self-indulgent people who want to tell us how to live our lives. That's what you are, isn't it? We are you. We cannot exist without you. Excellent in terms of our performance, uh, in terms of our growth. Worst case scenario could collapse modern civilization. That's the risk. That's not overblown. I can't put a probability on it, but I can tell you for sure it's well above zero. A lot of 
scientists are saying about one billion may be able to live in a four degree world toward the poles. Our current population is about 7.5 billion. So you can do the sums. This isn't a nice future. And this is not going to be a, a gentle, planned population decline. We are in the midst of a bushfire crisis tonight, the likes of which this state has never seen. It's been described as hell on earth. A state of emergency has been declared in New South Wales. A catastrophic warning in place with a fire danger the city has never seen. Many of the blazes are out of control and beyond anyone's experience. It's been labelled the worst fire season ever recorded, an apocalypse, a nightmare, and like looking into the gates of hell. I've lost seven houses already in Nelligan. I'm not going to lose any more, you head. You've got to think about this planet as a system, because that really is what is at stake. 